Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at the Hero Factory Raka 3.0. And here he is. Um, he's brand new, he's sealed. As you can see, there's no cut through the top. On either side, you can hear the parts. And uh, yeah, so we're going to open, uh, open him. And I'm going to build him, talk a little bit about Hero Factory, talk about um, everything. Um, uh, so yeah, um, I'm going to open him because he's not really special. It's not really unique. Like, um, my dash tacker from Transformers Victory, if they were sealed, I wouldn't have opened them because they're somewhat special and I probably wouldn't see them again. This guy, uh, I'm going to see again. I'm going to be able to find him again, even sealed. So that's why I'm opening him opening him and uh building him for you guys um raka is um one of my favorite characters um in hero factory so we'll talk a bit more about that um so yeah um but first thing i want to talk about his name 3.0 i think i don't really know how that um how that really happened because raka this is his second mode from the lion mode from Savage Planet. Um, but he was built with the upgrade, so the 2.0 system. So he can't have this can't be his 3.0. I don't know. Maybe there's some deeper thing to it, but that's all I know. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna jump in, cut it open, and we'll talk into everything about it. So yeah, got my scalpel right here to cut him open and so yeah so i have done a video building the red rock she the torok rock she um as you guys probably saw and um uh i love bionicle as i as i probably said in that video i love bionicle but i didn't and I said in that video is that I caught it very late, more due to sets that were still on the shelves. More due to the sets that are still on the shelves. And see this code? I never did this because I didn't really have a computer when I owned this. But you can see uh, this uh, code. You can put it in. <sighs> Right there, and you can play, I guess, this character or whatever in the in this computer game. So yeah, so I'm gonna be quiet while I pour all this out. I don't need the instructions. I remember how to build this guy because. Uh, the Hero Factory toys were much more simplistic, or the heroes were. The villains, the first year villains weren't, so I'm going to spread these out. The first year villains were a little bit more complex. I didn't own any of them. I only owned one, and that was Meltdown. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, I... So I grew up more with Hero Factory than I did with Bionicle. So that's why, and I grew up more around uh, uh, the Savage Planet line. So this line that I'm opening right now. I didn't own all of them. I only owned, it, owned a couple. I, I think I only owned like two or three out of the six. Um. So yeah. And... That's why I bought this guy. I bought him because I'm trying to piece together my original one, my original um, Raka, but I had an Amazon gift card, saw this, and I was like, I'm going to buy that. Um, I'm going to buy that. So, um, yeah, just nostalgia got, got through to me, and I was like, I'm just going to buy good old... Uh, Raka, um, because I love him, I love everything about him, um, so yeah, and 
Hero Factory is not, in my personal opinion, not better than, um, not better than, uh, Bionicle. Bionicle has a very special place in my heart. I spent literally, like, a whole summer reading the books. Um, uh, but Bionicle, um, Bionicle just, I was late to it. So, Hero Factory has more of the spot in my life of being awesome because I remember playing with them and it, I just put that on wrong. Um, experiencing it by actually playing with the toys and, um, it was deeper in my childhood when Bionicle, due to me missing it because I was younger, um, uh, I, um, I experienced it later on, um, later on when I was older, and, um, so, I think, so I love both of them, I will, I love both of them equally, but objectively, Bionicle is a, I personally think is better because it has more complex, funner toys, because, as you can see right now, that the heroes and even the villains, um, of Hero Factory were very simplistic, very, uh, simple to build. There wasn't too terribly much to them, as you can tell. Um, the CCBS system, the system that, uh, Raka, uh, and all of, uh, the other heroes after 2011 were built with is very reliable. They even used it, um for the rebooted Lego, uh, rebooted Generation 2 Bionicle. Um, it was a very, very reliable system, but it limited, it limits the creativity, um, opposed to, it limits the creativity because you just basically have bones and armor pieces. Like... Um, the Rakshi here, you have a lot more different parts, very specific parts, um, you know, like the spine and the, all that, but nonetheless, I, Hero Factory is more, I love it because of its simplicity and the fact that I loved it so much as a kid because of its simplicity that you can, that, I don't have to deal with all these itty bitty little pins and axles um, to make a mock. Here's one of my mocks. He's uh, he uses some. Th these parts came off of a stormtrooper, uh, the CCBS like stormtrooper thing that came out for the Force Awakens. Then this is the Generation Two Bionicle head, but um, but I just. That's how I sort of see it, is that, like, I love both of them, but I have more nostalgia for Hero Factory because I experienced it more. And, um, and that's why I, I just love Hero Factory because it's so nostalgic to me that they're just fun, simple little toys when, uh, that you could, you know, they're clone sets for most of the heroes and, it had a very simplistic story. I wish the story was broadened. Like, not really broadened, but continued. Uh, I think Hero Factor was def really cut short. But, um... But, uh... I just... That's how I sort of see it, is that, like... Hero Factor... You know, Transformers has always been there. Transformers will always be there. But Hero Factory, you know, I'm still coming back to it. I'm going to buy more of the sets that I didn't have when I was younger. But coming back to a set like Raka here, um, coming back to a set like Raka, um, just gives me that nostalgia of being a kid again. When, like, buying the Bionicles, the old Bionicles, um, old Bionicle sets that I did have or didn't have, um, gives me... Um, it will give me nostalgia of now because I'm collecting them now because I didn't experience them when I was younger, like, uh, Raka and the Hero Factory. Um, so yeah, um, the, 
uh, Hero Factory will never live up to Bionicle, but it's still... The sets, are I think, are still worth getting um, if you like Bionicle. There's no dispute that um, the building system for Hero Factory um, greatly was improved. It had a simplistic story. They had much better defined articulation um, of their eras, like uh, Raka here. Uh, just clearly defined articulation that um, rivaled basically everything of its time. When the Rakshi, obviously this this is 2011, this is 2003, um, 2003, 2004, but still, I'm not going to complain about his elbows, uh, not having any elbows, but there's a clear defined articulation when there was a bit more of a less of a standard in the um, the Bionicle. Hero Factory, the main gimmick, probably was the c simple creativity because you can just take his limbs apart and not have to worry about them breaking. Even this one that's brand new and it's old, you might be, oh, well, what happens if it uh, uh, something happened uh, because it's never been exposed to air because it was in its package for uh, basically 12 years? Um, um, I don't, I don't, I'm not afraid of that. Nearly all the CCBS pieces or the Hero Factory pieces that I have, I'm not afraid of breaking, but some of the, uh, Bionicle, uh, Bionicle, uh, pieces like the Rakshi, I am afraid to take them apart, um, and do that. But yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I, I just love the toys. I, I have nostalgia for them. I absolutely love the toys. Um, so yeah, I'm um, going to hold off a bit more on talking about that so we can talk a bit more about Raka. Um, like I said, he's a clone set, or a fairly cloned set, uh, like the Toa and the Rakshi of Bionicle and all the smaller villains like the Rakshi, the Bulrock, the Vaki before... But he's fun. He has decent articulation. It's all ball joints. You know, his shoulders are ball joints. Very expressive ball joints. Deep elbow um, for both. A deep knee both ways. Um, um, so, yeah. I'm not... I uh, The claws can articulate. Um, head is a little bit stuck due to the big helmet and everything. But... Overall, it's still really good. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I love his colors. I love the gold. Um, a lot of people point out that the bones of the CCBS system, and mainly the backs of nearly all the sets throughout the entire era of uh, Hero Factory, is a little uh, egregious, I guess you could say. I can't think of a better word. Just they're very off-putting, especially compared to the TV counterparts where they're very covered up with armor that clearly is stuck on through different methods. Uh, but I just think that opens up to ways to modify the sets to make them look like their show appearances of being able to add armor pieces all around to, I don't know. But so yeah, uh, love Raka. Love this toy. Remember playing with them a lot. Uh, he was right next to all the Transformers. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do a bit more. I want to do a bit more um, Hero Factory because I'm starting to slowly piece together back my um, my old sets. So I'm gonna start uh, doing more Bionicle. I'm gonna start doing more. I'm going to start doing more Bionicle. Uh, I'm going to slowly take apart, be carefully take apart all my sets that I have. I'm going to do uh, some Hero Factory sets. I'm going to do stuff exactly like this. Um, just take them apart, put them in their canister, uh, or just lay the pieces out if I don't have the canister, or their baggie if you're talking about the breakout waves. 
of uh, the breakout wave of Hero Factory and just build them. So yeah, um, there really isn't too terribly much to talk about, but so yeah, um, just really love this toy. I love the fact that I got it. A uh, little is little is a little discour discouraging that it was sealed, but um, just like the my uh, universe 2.0, uh, I think ultra class hardhead is that it was a toy that I wanted for so 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 long, and I I was just like you know what, I don't care if it's sealed. I'm going to open this guy and I'm going to play with him, and uh just yeah he looks so beautiful the parts are perfect the joints are perfect mine my old one is in not the greatest of shape and i don't even have all the parts i don't even have his head crest and i can't even imagine what kind of shape that's in uh but yeah i just absolutely love hero factory and i will when i get stormer this guy uh, I will be doing this, and then I see some things that I would change, and it's fairly simplistic. I'm not going to get online and try to look up, um, look it up. I'll probably just try to, probably just pull this canister out and, uh, look off of it. Uh, but there's some things that I would like to change. So, yeah, I think that could be fun, make a pretty fun video. Had that wrong way around. But, so, yeah, I'm going to do that someday when I get Stormer. But I'm going to do a lot more of this stuff. I want to do a lot more of this stuff. It's just fun to sit down, build stuff, talk about my experiences with the sets, my opinion on the sets, my opinions over the franchises. Because, you know, I've grown up with both. I'm playing with both. I'm experiencing both. And uh, so, yeah, I love the sets, love everything about them. And I love Raka. So, yeah, that's really all I have to say. So. Until next time, see ya.